All right, hello YouTube. So, what I got here today is the Taurus PT 111 G2, or 111 or 3, or however you want to say it. I'm guessing it's 111 as everyone else says. So, uh, I just got this. So, this is everything you get with it your little policy card, how to use it in the safety book, like you usually get. I already took it out of this package. Lots of lube which uh, I didn't get with the Ruger. Everything everything on here is lubricated, which is nice. Um, it comes with, obviously, the handgun itself, and Taurus has its own little key system here. One side's for adjusting the sights, and the other one is for the locking mechanism that it has for storage, which is on this side. The key goes right there, and you can turn it clockwise to lock it or counterclockwise to unlock it. And mine came with two magazines. I've already loaded them up. Um, they are 12s right there. You've got a 6 and a 12 for the magazines, and plus one for the chamber. So let's take a look at this. All right, so the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to go around the gun a little bit. Um, the first thing is the front sights up here. You have the front sights and the rear sights. You also have up on top, you can see if I can focus in on this, it's the little, there we go, the loaded chamber indicator. So the loaded went up. So when you have a round in the chamber, that's going to pop up and let you know that you have a round in the chamber. Uh, I don't exactly like that, but that's just how they make them. You have the safety right here, the slide catch when you slide it back or when you run out of ammo. Uh, you also have a disassembly latch that I'll be doing when I field strip it, and you also have one up here for a flashlight or, you know, laser pointer, whatever you want to do. It does have a safety on the trigger. Um, the grips are actually really nice. It's not covered in the the whole grip, but these are really, really good grips. Um, you do have your magazine release, and the magazine itself, which is the cutout here, it also extends out a little bit to give you more grip with the magazine itself in. So I'll go ahead and drop the magazine. And like I already showed you, it's the 12 plus 1 in the chamber. It's uh, nice and lightweight, but I got rounds in here, so it uh, gives a little mo bit more weight. Uh, it's a decently weighted handgun. Um, it's not as heavy as you might think it is, but it could. there are lighter ones out there. I would say this is about mid-heaviness. It, uh, it comes in about... 20.8 ounces, uh, whatever that is in pounds. Um, so that's what you have on there, and on the other side, it's not really ambidextrous at all. It doesn't have a left-handed function, or you can't swap it over to left-handed. So there's a quick walk around of the weapon itself. There's the sights. I do like those sights, the round ones, instead of the... Uh, the block ones that you usually get. So uh, let's field strip this. Alright, and for field stripping, it's actually quite simple uh, compared to my Ruger. Let's go ahead and pull it back uh, about an eighth of an inch, and there's going to be these on both sides, which I already showed, and then you're going to slide it forward. And then you're going to let release these, and as you can see on there, it's about halfway up, and then again, on the other side, it's going to be halfway up. Now that you have that locked into place, you're going to pull the trigger. Obviously don't have a magazine in and don't have any rounds in the chamber. That should be a given, but i got to say it anyway. And you're going to pull the trigger all the way back. I mean, all the way until it can't go anymore, because if you do that, it's not going to do anything. All the way back until you hear the click, and then it's released. 
you can clean that out um, as needed. And now you have the barrel in here. Pretty straightforward as long as handguns go. You're going to take the spring out, which is simple enough. And then the barrel just slides right out. Same thing for putting it back together. Put that back in. The large portion goes towards the barrel where the bullets come out. Make sure that slid into place and that first notch down here. Got to compress it a little bit. Flip it around. Make sure the grooves go back into the regular grooves. And you're going to go all the way back. And there it goes. It's already locked back into place. You don't have to worry about any pins or anything like my Ruger video, the one on the on the inside when you push it push it back there's something that looks like that that's not the same thing for this one but you gotta push it down on my other one but it's pretty simple for field stripping on this one and for the pole on this one it's uh... it's a pretty good pole a little heavy for being such a a small handgun but i bet after using it for a while it will be a little bit better but I'll try to get some video of uh, me and my wife shooting these bad boys. So, chimichanga upside down pineapple sauce. <laughs> Alright, so this is the barrel. Just wanted to show what the inside's going to look like. Hold this up to the light. There you go. That is what the inside is going to look like of your barrel. Alright, so this is a comparison between my Ruger, the SR9E, and the Taurus 111G2 Millennium, whole name, whatever. But here's a, a good size comparison. That's how much longer the grip is, and also the barrel. That's just a good size comparison. And uh, shooting both of these is um, it's quite a big difference. They do have the, the same general look and feel to them, but much different when you're shooting. For the Ruger, the trigger pull, all you need to do is press in the safety, and you're straight up on the trigger. You just push, and you're right on the trigger. Unlike the Taurus where you push in the safety and you have to come back you have to come back about right here before you actually get the trigger pull so let me go ahead and show that for you okay so this one is the Ruger so you press in the safety and it's straight onto the fire again safety straight to the fire For the Taurus, you push on the safety, back, 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 there, when it's all the way back. That's how far you got to go back before it even stops. All that, nothing.
if further trigger pull with this one.